fun. All right, thank you. Hi everybody, this is Tim Sharon with Ida, and we are here with the co-founder of Ida, Mr. David Frangioni. Thank you, Tim. It's good to be here. And uh, we just wanted to have you on so you could give a little bit of your insight, advice, tips on uh, what you should do as an aspiring songwriter, singer, songwriter, artist. Well, I think that you have to put the, the artist's career and, and building of a career into phases, mm -hmm. right? And it starts with the, the passion that an artist has to want to make their living in music and, and share their art with the world. And then you need a game plan for how that's actually going to happen and for what the components of it are. So you start with who you are as an artist and you look at your songs, make sure they're great, you look at your style, make sure it's authentic and it's you, and you look at your game plan for amassing an audience growing your fan base. So if we start with the songs, one of the key things I see that happens a lot with artists is that they, they are so diverse and so creatively inspired in different areas that they want to be all things to all people. The fact is, you can't be. You won't get a record deal that way, and you won't build an audience that way. So if you do, so if you do um, polka, you know, you need to be the best polka artist, and you need to know that that's what you do and where you're coming from, and that's your image, your branding, your sound, your songs are all the best that it can possibly be. If you're, you know, if you're a pop artist, you need to know that you are a pop artist. Your sound, you know, you're not wearing a cowboy hat when you're being a pop artist. Mm -hmm. Well, basically, but let me just say, okay. Anyway, so <laughs> all right, let, let's stick with rock or a little more uh, contemporary formats that we have here, <laughs> at least in the U.S. So. Yes, if you are a rock artist or a pop artist mm -hmm. and you have a 10 gallon cowboy hat on, your audience is going to be a little confused. Right. And you, you, have to, you have to have boundaries, right? I call it the riverbanks. And when you go beyond the riverbanks and you're splashing all over the place, your audience is not going to be there to catch you. Mm -hmm. So you have to stay within it. And you have to know who you are and find that and be focused on it. And as you said, be the best in that that you are and that you can be and keep growing it and yep. keep bettering it but always remember you know the songs are how you touch your audience that that is that is your musical artistic identity style is important but songs are the most important absolutely and being great at your craft yeah. you know if you're a singer be the best singer that you can be right and i you know i always i always try to tell people you know if you're going to be if you want to be an artist and that's what you want to do with your life, then you need to do that. You need to do it as much as you possibly can in front of anybody you possibly can, as many times uh, a week as you possibly can to, again, keep redefining yourself and really, really beating on your craft every day, month after month, year after year, so you can be the best you possibly can be. You're right, and you know, the fact is there have never been any good excuses. There have never been any good excuses. However, now, there really aren't any good excuses yeah. because for someone to say I can't videotape myself and play it back and see and I, where I can't get to a big this. recording studio that costs right. a million right. dollars. I, I, I can't record myself. Yeah. Right. I can't videotape myself. No, both are not true. If you have a cell phone, you can record yourself and videotape yourself and watch it back. And if you have a halfway decent cell phone, you can probably even do it in high def and in 16-bit <laughs> stereo for the audio and and play it back on a television and a sound system. So I mean, right. it's actually so, pretty sophisticated yeah, you know, yeah. with, a, with an iPhone or, or a lot of devices like that. So the tools are there, right? But it's always been the Indian, not the arrow. But what I'm saying is that the arrows are better than ever. Mm -hmm. And so you need to be really on your game. And you need to, to channel all of that focus that is necessary into your craft and being the best that you could possibly be. So the be. tools are all out there for everybody now. The, the, the playing field is level. Yes. And now it's what, what you're you saying do with is, them. is the focus, the focus, the focus. Well, and the songs and the game, game plan. Yeah. Everybody has the same color palette to paint with, but why is, you know, why do you see Van Gogh or Picasso and there's like a completely different inspiration? It's because of the artist. Mm -hmm. So it's on the artist to develop their songs develop their image and style, develop their personality musically, and really take that to the highest level. Develop their stage show, 
and always make sure it's authentic. Mm -hmm. If you're into different styles of music, pick the one that you want to make a career on and be passionate about it and make it real. You know, another big mistake I see with artists is that you know, you have the classic one where they're, you know, country rock with a, a flair of salsa, you know, and, and what is it, right? So that's your first challenge, is nail it down, be one. The second challenge is that the artists will, they, they, they don't have a game plan. They need a game plan. And they need to, to go out and really hone who they are and what their focus is. And, how they're going to roll that out to the world, mm -hmm. and that's extremely important, and that's and that's on the artist. That isn't that isn't any kind of because issue really the, these days there really isn't any artist development when it comes to the record company. So no. it's on mm -hmm. you as an artist to develop yourself. Right, right, you, and that's why we formed Ida because we want a breeding ground for amazing talent to get the education necessary to be a successful artist to pull all of these disparate elements of their career into one focused game plan. You know, one of the things that we see a lot is artists swirl around with where they need to go to get where they want to go. Yeah. Ida contains all of that swirling and puts them on the path. Yep. Excellent. Excellent. Amazing advice from Mr. David Frangioni. Thank you, Tim.